So I'm back on my bullshit again, and uh, I wanted to make just a quick video about uh, FM synthesis and how wave shaping distortion uh, kind of overlaps with that and what they have in common. So uh, here I have two uh, synths doing simple FM stuff. So if we go into Serum here, we can see it's just a sine wave being FM'd by another sine wave at the same frequency. So you kind of get this sound and what's interesting about this is um, if we open a signal analyzer so we can take a look at the waveform you can see that it's the sine wave that kind of starts to fold in on itself that's what kind of happens as you start to increase the fm amount uh, we can also show this with operator it's much the same i think plays around a bit different but you can see that that's sort of the key component is that the wave start sort of starts to fold in on itself, at least in the case of a sine wave. Um, so we can sort of emulate that by simply using a saturator with uh, this sort of algorithm. So uh, you should know that like uh, the saturator is doing a wave shaping and you should know what that means and what that implies. It's basically a graph of the input level versus the output level. And you can see that very similar to the FM stuff, um, after you get to a certain point, the wave is going to collapse back in on itself. So when we take a listen to this, we can hear that sounds very similar to the FM synthesis examples. And we can also see on the spectrum analyzer that the wave also starts to fold in on itself. Now, it, it looks a little bit different on the spectrum analyzer and the sound is also kind of different, but I think they're similar enough uh, to the point where you can kind of use them interchangeably in sound designing. Um, there's also uh, a wave folding algorithm in Isis Dope Trash that you can use as well. It's uh, it's under the distort category, the Elastic Trash one uh, does much the same thing. So yeah, so that's quite nice. So now we know that you can use wave shaping with an algorithm that kind of looks like this, like a sine wave essentially. We can use that to sort of emulate FM synthesis. So the reason you might want to do this and not start out with an FM synthesis is, you know, sometimes you're working with samples and if you have a sample, then it's already made, it's already there. You can't go back into the synth and alter it. Um, and also sometimes you want the sort of FM sound to occur um, after the post-processing. Uh, so those are some of the reasons that you would want to do that. So let's take a, a quick look at some of these re spaces and uh, and how they sound, and then what I've done to kind of get that FM sound because there's multiple ways that you can get this sound with. I'm going to be using a bunch of different plugins so you can kind of get the idea. So <clears throat> this first synth just kind of just a slow sort of re swabble, very simple. And uh, I've used Serum Effects, and you can see that in the Serum Effects I used the a uh, sinoid fold algorithm with uh, a pre-filter. That's kind of band passing. So if we turn that on, we can hear that it sounds much more crunchy and uh, and distorted in a way that you would kind of expect uh, if you use uh, FM synthesis. So what I did here is I just kind of started uh, on full wet, you know, with the pre-filter, no drive, it sounds like this. Just nothing happening to the signal, but then it starts to dial in a little bit of drive and the waveform starts to collapse back onto itself and you get that nice FM sort of sound and then and then you mix that in with the uh, original signal and then you get a really nice really nice sort of, uh, sort of thing going on there. Um, you can also, of course, use the uh, saturator, you know, simple re-swabble again. Really low, really dark. Um, and if you smash it into there quite hard, you can really get this uh, nice sort of crunchy texture that's just quite awesome, I think. Um, and then finally, of course, you can also do use this uh, in Isotope Trash. Like I talked about using the Elastic Trash algorithm, but of course, the cool thing about Isotope Trash is it's kind of similar to the Serum FX distortion in that uh, the Serum Extend, uh, the Serum FX one uses a filter, uh, and here you kind of use like a band splitter, which is 
similar but not quite the same. So you can see I split the signal into three bands and um, on the top two bands I put this uh, elastic trash algorithm at different settings to kind of dial in those frequency ranges and how hard I want to push them into that sort of FM-like sound. So if you listen without it's just pretty gnarly reads but then we turn that on and it gets kind of wild and, and um, quite bright and it pushes out a lot of the stereo width that was already there uh, but it was quite hard to hear because the the high frequencies were so low in level and then when you really push that if we solo this band you can really hear what that's doing and made that as well. really pushing things up into the frequency spectrum much like uh, you do with FM synthesis. <clears throat> um, and yeah, then the final demonstration would be uh, this little sort of bass riff that I've made. So if we turn this off, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool sound, um, but uh, well, I'm thinking that the final sort of hit, like, it's quite boring. So what I did is I made this audio effect, right, that just passes through the signal, but then it also has this uh, other line which only turns on um, for this last hit uh, and what that line does is if we, we can take a look at it and we can see that it low passes the signal uh, it compresses the shit out of it uh, and then it smashes it really hard into the saturator uh, with a bit of EQ at the end to kind of make it more manageable and then when you add that back it sounds really nice so if we just that's what it's adding and then you combine that with the original and you get it brings out this really nice sort of texture on the top or kind of in the mid-range there that uh, really accentuates this last hit and it makes it kind of unique so now if you turn that off it's the last hit is much more muted when you turn that off um so yeah that was just a quick uh video on how you can use uh wave shaping distortion to kind of get a sound that you would expect to get out of uh, FM synthesis. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, like and subscribe and everything. And also join my Discord server, links in the description, because then you'll get to like suggest videos and shit, and you'll also get to like steal my snare samples. So yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.